Hello friends, today we are discussing about the first agent of erosion that is the river. First we are discussing about erosional works of the river. When at, as we know that a river is starting with as much higher altitude especially from the mountain regions. High altitude means mountain regions for example Sindhu, Ganga, Brahmotra all the rivers are uh, starting from Himalayan, Himalayan mountains. Like that all the rivers are starting from a high altitude high altitude means here height from the sea level here the river flows that great speed and therefore its power erodes great isliye oh jagah pe altitude bahut height bahut jyada hai so isliye udhar river ka speed bhi running water ka speed bhi bahut jyada ho jayega so its create a power erode a great obviously oh jagah pe speed bhi bahut bada ho jayega so the river bed and the river banks get eroded because of the flow of the water a water ka dono side imagine this is a river the both the side and a bed niche bhi aur dono side mein bhi erosion ho hota hai and that's create a lot of uh lot of shapes on the earth surface let's see what are they get eroded because of the uh, sand particles and pebbles all the things will take away from that places and uh, various tributes joining all the rivers all this leads to formation of gorges or canyons you can see there in this picture it's called a canyon both the side a, a river ka dono side or bed three sides are get eroded erosional take places on these three places therefore it's called a canyon dono side ka dono mountains ka beech mein se pani chal raha hai na a river is running through in this both the sides so all these places are eroded because of the running water and the next one is v shaped valley this is a v shaped valley you can see that the steep is slow and the river is flowing in the right and it is look like in english letter v english letter v ka jaise dikhta hai valley is therefore it is called a v shaped valley so that's all about the erosional work of the rivers and then the transportation and deposition when a river flow down to the slope a hilly region at the foot hills the change in the slope cause deposition of course of sediments of this deposit in the triangular shape they form an alluvial fan you can see here in this picture this is a foot of the mountain a mountain region ka niche sabse niche ka portion hai ye jo upar se jo kuch sediments hai uh, soil sand and pebbles all the things that is carried by the river is started to deposit here a jagah pe leke aage aur idhar deposit bhi karega so earth here is forming a triangular shaped ye to ek alluvial fan ka jaisa ek shape aise form ho jayega isko bolte hain alluvial fans this shape is called a fan shape it's not a triangular actually it's a fan shaped uh, landform and so it is called alluvial fans so uh, then as the steepness of the slope decreases and the transportation capacity of the river reduces so a steep a mountain ka steep kam ho jayega wahan se a water ka speed bhi kam ho jayega when the steep is the slope is decrease the transportation capacity of the river decrease speed bhi kam ho jayega speed ka speed jahan aapse kam hota hai wahan pe erosion bhi kam ho jayega then what will happen then it birds meanders often in the efforts of the cross obstacles by the time the river reaches the sea so a speed kam hone ka wajah se ek chota obstacle bhi river ka flow stop karega so this river started to run in a zigzag way you can see in this picture this is called a zigzag way like this this page this like this so it is called a zigzag way that is called a meander then often it in its way an effort to cross a small obstacle by the time that reaches the sea its river bed becomes very wide and the speed becomes very slow to isliye river ka width bahut bada ho jayega and at the same time the speed of the water became very slow so so the, the sediment started to deposit in the bed down the banks so that that uh, determine the deposition sediments are length 
reverse volume water amount of sediments on the slope of the river earth surface this landforms flood leaves and flood plains and deltas you can see in this picture jab river ka speed kam ho jayega river bed mein bhi aur both the side mein both the sides and the river bed river ka niche bhi aur dono side mein se bhi deposition uh, shuru ho jayega when the speed decrease that is called a flood plain ye dono side ka flood plain bol sa hai और ये सात में का फ्लड लीव्स बोलेगा जस्ट इम अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हेन द स्पीड ऑफ द रिवर डिक्रीज स्टार्टेड टू डिपॉजिट ये जो माउंटेन रीजन से जो मिट्टी वगैरह लेके आए वो सब कुछ डिपोजिशन स्टार्ट हो जाएगा सब कुछ इधर इधर ये जो जगह पे डिपॉजिट भी करेगा सो दैट फॉर्म्स फ्लड प्लेन्स एंड फ्लड लीव्स देन The next one is a delta. What is in by delta? Like, let's see that. This is the picture of a delta. Uh, delta means when we are when the river is approaching to the sea. When the river is approaching to the sea, as we know that sea does not accept anything from the river. Land का side में से river sea कुछ भी accept नहीं करेगा. So all the particles that carried by the river started to deposit here. ये जो जगह पे रिवर ने जो कुछ लेके आया वो सब चीज़ यहाँ पे डिपॉजिट करना पड़ेगा सो इट्स क्रिएटेड ट्रायंगुलर फॉर्म्ड शेप ये एक ट्रायंगुलर शेप है ऐसे एक ट्रायंगुलर शेप है सो दिस ट्रायंगुलर शेप्ड लैंड फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड डेल्टा एंड देर आर मेनी स्ट्रीम्स फॉर्मिंग देयर ये बहुत बड़ा रिवर है इधर छोटा छोटा स्ट्रीम्स का वजह से फॉर्म हो जाएगा और देन इट इज़ फॉर रीचिंग दी सी एंड देट इट इज़ रीचिंग दी सी देर फॉर इट इज़ कॉल्ड a uh, delta it is the, it is because of the depositional work of the um, river here the river is depositing all the uh, things that is carried by the river jo kuch unhone reverse leke aaya wo sab cheez idhar deposit karega therefore it is called a delta